morning everybody this is Raven Sky uh, I wanted to do a quick update video so the cabbage plants are looking pretty good and the uh, mustard greens are also looking pretty good I think we're going to give them another week and then we're gonna harvest these guys because they're pretty much finished if we let them grow any more than uh, another week or so they the leaves might get bitter and kind of same thing goes with the uh, Swiss chard. <clears throat> it's all about that point. Maybe the Swiss chard could go another two weeks, maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, it all looks pretty good. We ended up getting another uh, three piles of perlite. And we got our uh, tractor guy out there mixing them up right now. So uh, we got that going. And then I uh, decided to take the back end off of the greenhouse because it's just getting too hot in the greenhouse. And uh, I actually think we're going to be repurposing this at some point and taking down the plastic and actually just putting up the uh, sunscreen. I don't remember what it's called. It's still early. Um, the shade cloth. So I think we're going to end up putting the shade cloth on top of this and just letting it have an open open sides possibly <clears throat> the uh, starts are all looking pretty good as well I still haven't transplanted them uh, we're waiting for the uh, compost and the perlite to get mixed up <clears throat> these um, these little starts I'm not too crazy about I think there's a lot of a lot of grass growing in here I think the next time I do this, I'm gonna have to buy. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy some compost, like in a bag that doesn't have any uh, grass seeds in it, because I got more grass growing than I do plants, unfortunately. So that is what it is. <clears throat> uh, quick update on the hydroponic uh, floating system. So I built two of these guys and. We were uh, also informed that we should probably not put them in the greenhouse because the the lettuce plants that we're going to put in this hydroponic system they need to be in uh, they need to be outside in cool weather and not in the greenhouse. And Florida is just really not made for greenhouses unless you've got a professional setup, which I don't, obviously. So I'm going to take this thing here, that frame, and I'm going to take the other frame that I built the other day. So I have two of them. I got this frame as well and I spoke with our uh, a local hydroponic guy who supplied me with some uh, seedlings actually I'll show you what he gave me he gave me these little guys these little hydroponic uh, seedling guys so I'm gonna take these these little guys here uh, let them grow a little bit more and then I'm actually gonna use those for the, the hydroponic floating system and we're gonna take these we're gonna take these beds here or these frames and I'll show you all this later but I'm gonna take it all the way back there to the front and put it underneath the trees so we're gonna start building out our hydroponic system that way or from that direction over there in the corner and they'll be under the trees so they'll get a little bit more ambient light rather than direct sunlight so that's kind of the update there. Um, when we get all of this mixed in together, we're gonna be um, starting to do this over here. So by the end of the day, I'll probably have these pots filled up and putting them over there. Well, that's the, the idea anyways. This is gonna take several hours to mix up. All right, I just wanted to uh, check in with you real quick and give you an update. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Raven Sky, peace out.